Yeah, yeah we'll heat up after a couple of fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that got hit. Woo! Okay, oh, he's putting line. Sure, no. Hey, dog, it's dog, dude. Good, mate. Good to see you out in the water. Yeah, I've come to get your fishing spot. <laughs> That's all right, mate. Hey. Cheers, mate. See you out there. Sean from Fish and Wish and Life, and check him out on social media. Good on you, mate. All right, welcome back, folks. Fellow action packed Dale Dom fishing adventures. It's a windy day today. It's windy. I'm out here on the Swan River, my local here in Perth, and we're going to go for Taylor. Woo, it's windy. I'm actually going to go on the other side where it's probably a bit less choppy, but choppy is good for Taylor. Putting some big hit lures, Halco laser pro on that one, and this is a, I think it's a Rapala. Rapala, I can't see the rest, it's all been chewed off. That's how good these things are. So I'm just going to cruise around. Taylor's on the menu, we'll try and find them. Okay, let's get into the place. I'm actually going to go against the wind. Right. Fire Torpedo 1. Torpedo 2. Oh, right. I don't know if he's on. The both rods went. I'm going to keep cruising. So we're on. First fish of the day. That actually feels really small. Not after the small choppers. I want the good size ones. Hopefully a 40, but this one is. It feels really. I think he just spat it too. No, it's still on. Woo! Okay, oh, he's put in line. Here we go. He drags a bit too loose. Woo, now he realises he's on. Talk about giving a curry. Woo -hoo. It's a good size one. Don't know what the hell happened there. Oh, no, that's a good size. That is good size. Alrighty, first fish of the day. Woo right. Yeah, look at that. So he got hooked, and then he got hooked again on the side of the mouth. The wind's blowing me, so I want to keep moving the boat so that line doesn't come off. Yeah, good hook up. Alrighty. So there you go. Beautiful, fresh, fine specimen of a tailor. He's definitely a keeper. Yeah, 36 centimetres. They're the fish that I love. Good size, good eating, great. You beauty. That one there will go off pretty soon, I reckon. And you gotta beat them because they are a heavy fish. Enhances the eating qualities of the fish. Let's put them into the esky. There you go, amongst the bush chooks. All right, so I'm getting little taps here. Not quite anything committing yet. Go, mate. Thanks, mate. So are you, mate. Oh, okay. And saying, my son should have come fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna just troll around. Yeah, we've got, I think I've got to go back to that spot. So there's a fair few boats around here, so it must be. Taylor hanging around. I'm just trying the different depths too. Now I'm sort of like on a bank. Oh, that got hit. Come on. Is he on? No. Oh, that one's getting hit, I think. Oh, that one. Oh, that one definitely got hit. Is he on? The fish is trying to get. I think the lure is actually. On top of the water. It's not a good sign. Oh, that one's definitely hit. I think. Yeah, that one's it. Oh, I don't know. Saw a splash. I think it's off. Don't think it was on too good. Must have been a small one. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's not on. Damn, that hurts. Oh. 
Alrighty. I was just about to say it's tough going, but we've got a hook up. Good size one too, I think. Oh, he's just bouncing up. I don't like him jumping out of the water. I'm just taking it easy. Just winding him. I don't even want to play with him. Oh, he's really feisty. Let's have a look here. Oh, he's a good size. Really good size. Oh, yeah. Now that is a good size tailor. There we go. Right, where's my pliers? Okay, let's measure him up. Yeah, another fine specimen, 36 centimetres. Can't complain with that. So that's just great. Awesome fish. Awesome fish. I'm gonna um put him there. Oh, that one there's taken off. So I think I should get a hook up. If I'm smart and lucky, that wind, I'm gonna use that wind to my advantage. Here we go, here we go. Hook up right here. Oh, I can see him running through. <laughs> yep, so I think I'm just gonna stay here. This is where the fish are. We're gonna cast out some lures. Look at that in the water. Cool. Oh, he just came off last minute. What a good fish that was. Oh, yeah. Now this one here, I just actually changed the lure to a, a Daiwa double clutch and he's taken off. Don't know if he's crossed the other line. Unless I've got a fish in the other one. Oh yeah, I think I've got a fish in the other one. Oh, it's a good size one here. There you go. Now these hooks are a bit small, so I wouldn't be surprised if I lose this guy on the retrieve. There we go, no. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you see that? I told you. I better use my landing net next time. That's just not on. Come off right there. I have to use my landing net. Oh! Righto. So this is a hook up. <laughs> I'm just going to move the boat because that wind again. There we go. I think he's pretty hooked. Hopefully, I don't lose him. Oh no! Don't do that. Ooh, he's feisty. All right, let's come around this side. It's good size. You can zoom right through the water there. Good size too. Oh, he's out. Don't lose him. Oh, come on. Put him in the net. Okay. Woo! Change the lure again. I put back the repeller. Slightly bigger. Gotta be careful with these hooks because they're quite quite fragile. I've actually only got two on the barbs. So a bit of surgery. There we go. That's a good size one. Lovely Swan River Taylor. That's what I'm on about. Juicy, beautiful fish. Chomp, chomp. So check that out. There's a big ball of fish. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Are they going to come to the party? Surely the fish will be hitting it. Oh, that's it. Yep, that's it. That's it. That's it. Got the wind to go over that other line. So I've never seen that. A big ball of fish. Here he goes. Oh, he's off. Oh, no. Oh, what is going on? Let's see if I can go over that spot again. That wasn't that big, too, so it could be just a big ball of smoys. Rightio, I think he's, no he's still on, it's been a tough slog, 
not many fish around the place but still enough to enough to uh yeah get a feed this one here is really jumpy i'm gonna lose this guy there's no oh no he's all right oh he's really engulfed that one there too really engulfed it that's a nice fine specimen there yeah he wasn't going anywhere this guy here great hookup right on the tail of the of the lure awesome nice fish sorry about the blood that's fishing that is fishing what the hell just happened what the hell just happened just put some su sunscreen on I'll just move spot oh there's big splashes all the way over there big splashes not a good sign the sign that it, it might come off think positive think positive I think he's well hooked because he really s s grabbed that lure and he took some line off some drag yeah so I decided to move spot a bit more deeper here on the channel marker there he is right there fine specimen oh and he's in Woo! lovely fish great hook up and he's off self-released what a great fish great fish it's definitely size here yeah, 37 centimeters is great size this time of year great size so this Rapala lure is actually doing all the damage today What are you doing? Where's your mum? Hang on, I'll call you back later. <laughs> God, phone calls, fish hookups. I'll ring him up later. It's my sister and nephew, they want to come on the boat. Didn't get a chance to call them back. What have we got here? Another. Oh, it's a chopper one. chopper body so that one is a bit more smaller this one and um measure him up properly he still makes the grade 30 31 it's actually quite small compared to the ones i've been catching so bloody awesome bloody awesome little fish Right, that's the final catch. Absolutely perler. I'm gonna sign off, do a cook up. See you home for the cook up. Beautiful, lovely Taylor. I've already managed to flip these beautiful fine specimen the tailors we caught. Well I caught. I'm just cooking up three. It's gonna be fillets here. You should salt them. I haven't got any salt at the moment. Let's put these aside. Really simple in the in the filler Italian. We don't really cook with much butter, or our region anyway. Northern parts of Italy they do, but not where we're from, the Mediterranean. But still, it's going to be nice. Butter is done to warm up. I'm just going to flavour it a bit. It's got a bit of dill. It's got a nice pungent aroma. Good for the tailor because it's a darker, it's a heavier fish. I reckon just about to put my fillets in there. You can hear that wind. I want to start it off here and finish it off inside. It's taking me forever to cook. Having said that, put a couple of mushrooms right now. Pretty sure there's a bit of parsley. I want this to be a dry dish, not a wet dish. I, think I might get rid of these mushrooms. Cook them later on. Yeah, that's better. Looking great. Doesn't take long to 
Doesn't take long for them to cook. And they're nice and fresh. Yeah, it's a nice colour on that. Probably another two or three minutes. Lovely. Throw in the, throw in the mushrooms. Right, sprinkle the salt. Terrific. Just a touch of black pepper. Smells great. And the fish, I reckon it's done. Nice, soft, and tender. Yeah, definitely done. Turn white all the way through. Beauty. Done. I think it's time for the taste test. I haven't got a fork. I can't even bother going inside because I want my fish warm. Just going to use a spatula here. Look at that piece there. Oh, it smells good. It's hot. Mmm. I've said this before, Taylor is Taylor. You can have a bit of a heavy toast, but mate, that is good with butter and mushroom. This mushroom really complements the fish unbelievably. A bit more fire. Yeah, I like it. Anyway, if you like this video and you want to keep it up to date, make sure you hit, hit the like and subscribe. And thanks everyone else out there who watch it on a regular basis. Big thumbs up. Thanks very much. Take it easy. See you next time. Yum. Oh. Fish tucker. Fish tucker. Fish tucker, man. Fish tucker. Fish tucker. The fish tucker, man.